You guys, today we're gonna to talk about a clothing company. They have a huge presence in the fitness space. They're jumping into the outdoor space. We're gonna go over a bunch of clothing from pants, base layers, and outer shells. Follow along, let's go. All right, you guys, so this is a button up. This is gonna be more of a dress wear. So it's got multiple layers. It's got pockets on the bottom. It's got pockets on the top. Nice snaps. This is kind of more, you're gonna wear this dress up out on the town. It's good to wear over the top of a base layer t-shirt just to add an extra layer on top of your setup. Okay, so the front of your pants. I have looked at these a little bit and I can tell you right now, I like them a lot. I'm gonna to explain to you why this is important, why we like them. We're gonna be doing a lot of testing on these pants, but right out of the gate, double layers of material on spots that are gonna be wearable. So your knees and your butt, when you sit down to glass, you sit down to do photography, if you're sitting down in the field, your butt is gonna get cold, it's gonna get wet. So I can tell you right now, this extra layer on the back is nice. The other thing, when we wear pants, we have gear everywhere, whether it is camera gear, snacks, pockets are a necessity when it comes to this kind of pants. So you have multiple pockets on your legs, multiple pockets up high. You got ones for a zipper and you can put your iPhone Max in here and it fits perfectly. Throw your phone in this pocket. That is what I would do. You're never gonna lose it. It's never gonna fall out. The other thing about this pant, this is the heavy. And I can tell you right now, this zipper opens up and it's a vent. A lot of the times you'll have a base layer underneath this and you're gonna open this up and let that vent when you guys are doing a long hike. But if you don't have a base layer and it's just warming up, you can open these up as well. This is the Frontier Pant Light. What you guys will notice is this does not have the zipper and the vent on the side, but the pockets and the knees are exactly the same. On the back, you still have extra thick on your butt and you can tell when you pick these two pants up, the different in weight here, you can tell that this has a lot more layers in it. I don't know exactly how many layers, but this is at least two. That I'm gonna say is probably three, but the pockets are exactly the same. Same zipper pockets, same pockets up on the top. Um, they do have a spot here for when you're clipping a knife on, so that's not gonna wear out and fray on you like a cheap pair of pants. Okay, so base layer. Base layers are a huge deal when it comes to a layering system. The age of just putting a huge jacket on and going out into the wood, that's gonna change. We layer for a purpose. So you have close to skin layer, you have a base layer, and then a jacket, and then a shell. And this is gonna be some layers that are gonna be close to skin. This is, some of this is a merino wool blend, but this stuff you're gonna wear as an insulation layer when it starts to get cold. One thing I really like about a layering system is the hood needs to fit nice and thumb holes. And I know this is kind of just a little thing, but when you have a long sleeve and you're sliding that over and you have a thumb hole that's not riding up, that's a, a big deal for me. This zips up and you have somewhat of a neck and the hood comes over the top. So you have multiple systems there. You can zip that up. You can protect just lower face or you can hood over the top and it's gonna add an extra layer of insulation to your setup. The one thing you guys need to consider is when this is a merino wool, it's gonna help wick the sweat away. So if you are getting wet, if you're getting sweaty, you're going to get cold. So this is a lightweight hoodie. It's a synthetic, it's got a really big hood. It doesn't have drawstrings. One thing I do like, this through pocket right here, just to keep your hands in, kind of keep your fingers um, warm. It has zippers on both sides. So you can put stuff in here, zip it up, your stuff isn't going to fall out. I really like that. This is the Quiver Half Zip Hoodie. So this is a synthetic as well. So this does not have a pocket in the front. It does have a big zipper that runs down the front. So I know I mentioned this before, thumb holes are a big deal to me. I really like that. Having the half zip so you can vent air out as you need to. And then this hoodie has a collar on it so you can wear the hood down just have this collar up which is kind of nice or you can pull the hood over the top zip this all the way up this is a little bit tighter to your head wear it over the top of a hat keep your ears warm so this is the century full zip hoodie so this is going to be a little bit thicker these are more of a base layer those are a lightweight hoodie this is going to be kind of an outer you can wear it over the top this is a full length zipper it's got zipper pockets 
like a normal jacket. It does have two pockets on the inside. This is kind of a fleece material. One thing I really like about this, this does have thumb holes as well, full length zipper. This, I would probably order this a size up. So this is a medium. I typically wear a medium and this is a little bit tight. I would probably go to a large. So you guys might want to consider that. This hood, one thing I really like about it is the hood fits really nice to your face. It's not really, really big, but this feature of having a built-in mask, when you zip this up with the hood on, when it's cold, you have a little bit of wind blowing in your face. Anything to protect your face from the sun, from the wind is a big deal. The other thing stocking in on animals or if you're fly fishing on the water, having something like this across your face keeps your face from getting burned. So this is a really nice feature to have. So these are gonna be your base layer bottoms. So you have lightweight and a heavier option here. I believe this is a merino wool blend. Yeah, merino wool, polyester blend. And that's a big deal, closest to skin. The more merino wool you have, I personally like. So this is a, a one layer. This is gonna be just a thin long john bottom. This is gonna be a little bit heavier option. This is a merino wool blend as well. This is the Ridgeline thermal bottom. This is a lot thicker than, than just the long john bottom. So this is at least two layers thick and it kind of has like this fleece material on the inside. So when it gets really cold, you could wear this closest to skin, then this over the top and then the heavyweight pants with a zipper for ventilation. But you start hiking, you're gonna start peeling layers. So we have the Tundra jacket. This is a puffy. Living in the Northwest, we wear puffies all the time. I bet we wear puffies probably four to five months out of the year. This is something that is going to be in the truck, in our packs, it's gonna be with us all the time. It comes with a nice little carrying bag. You can shove this thing into this bag, put it into your pack as you're hiking in. I like these bigger pockets that you have on the inside. Okay, so this is the heavy weight. One thing you'll notice is it has ventilation in your armpits. So you can open those up let your jacket vent out a little bit. You can see that that'll help out a lot. I would probably get this a size up as well. So the amount of fill that's in this jacket is more than just the regular Tundra. This has the zippers on the side. So if you were gonna do a one and done, I would probably go to the bigger jacket. You got ventilation and this is gonna keep you warmer. You can always pull layers as you need to. I would go with a bigger jacket and layer up underneath. If you guys are getting hot, undo the, the zippers for ventilation or just take this off and have something lighter. Take a look at the lightweight version. And it is lighter if you were really considering ounces and you're packing in lightweight. Between the two, you can tell the amount of down that's in this is less. It does not have the zipper here in the side, but other than that, you have the same pockets on the inside, same carrying bag, same construction. You have the abrasive sections there. No elbow pads. This one, it kind of blends in. You can't really tell. There is a layer here that is more of an abrasive material than just the regular puffy. So that's going to be a wearable part. It is thicker there. This, I would want to wear this and then plan on having a shell to wear over the top. So this is something that I would layer over the top of a base, but planning on wearing something over the top of this. Brief overlook at all of these products. So all these zippers are a YKK zipper. That is like a top of the industry zipper that you can have. All the stitching, the construction looks like it's on point. I really wanna test some of this gear out just because I can tell the way the pants are made, the way these tops are made, the materials all involved. This is gonna be a really, really good product to have in the truck, out in the field. When you need good gear, you don't want stuff ripping on you. You don't want zippers breaking. So buying stuff that is top of the line is gonna last a lot longer. We appreciate the support, follow along. This is the channel we are gonna be testing gear. Everything that is involved in the backcountry is gonna be right here on this channel, from stoves to clothes to hiking stuff, trekking poles. Hit the subscribe, hit the like button, follow along, leave a comment. If you guys have ideas for us, let us know.